Good morning and happy birthday and let's get it. Do you guys by the way know whose birthday today is? It's David Tennant's. If I'm correctly he's 42 today, so that's officially David Tennant day. Even though he won't watch this. Happy birthday man. You are an awesome doctor. Dad. <laughs> I'm so bad in trying to sing the theme song. It's, it's it's terrible. They actually showed a couple of pictures from the set for the 50th anniversary yeah. as the Doctor Who special. Or I guess the whole year is the special. Yeah. But I hope it's more than just one episode. <laughs> Sneeve, I miss the dance doctor. And Billy Piper's coming back and I assume the other companions. I'm not sure if the ninth doctor or at least a couple of the older doctors are coming back in some form. I think David Tennant actually distanced himself a bit from being the doctor. I mean, as an actor, you just don't want to be identified by one role. And he's a damn pretty good theater actor, that's for sure. On stage, awesome. Fun story, did you guys actually know that he is sort of a daily vlogger because he was doing his own video diary next to the whole Doctor Who Confidential that I talked about, like I think yesterday or the day before. He was doing his own daily vlog thing on his own camera. That's kind of cool if you think about it, that he was actually doing vlogs before vlogging was an actual thing. In the spirit of whole Doctor Who, who is your favorite Doctor and why? Doesn't have to be from the new series, can be from the old series too, but I have to be very honest, I'm more often 2005 series, so currently I really, really love Matt Smith as the Doctor. Nonetheless, David Tennant is an awesome, awesome person. He seems to be exactly the same off-screen as he is on-screen. So when I woke up this morning, I was like, nah, more rain, blah, blah. And then I came out and it's blue sky and it's pretty neat. Oh, it's super windy. There are some thunderstorms and tornadoes uh, in Michigan, I think. Um, the conference room is blocked right now, so the guys have their air conditioning on, which makes my room super cold and I'm freezing as hell. So we're walking. What are you doing? <laughs> is she photographing me? Oh my god. Guys, I'm feeling a lot better than yesterday. Of course, fancy clothing always makes me feel a little bit better. And the weather is way better than the days before. Yeah, it's even so bright that I need sunglasses. One of our colleagues, um, he's constantly scaring Jay and I think it's like 20 to 1 now. The thing is we, we are wearing headphones so we don't hear anything and depending on what we are working on we don't have the reflection so we don't actually see the mov movement if someone comes in. He actually had an idea and set up this. It's a mirror and he can see everybody walking past now. So last night, uh, just around 8 p.m. Texas time, there was another explosion at a fertilizing plant. Sarah posted a video about it if you haven't seen it on our channel. It was pretty early, I'm not sure. It is kind of scary if I think about it because there were houses in the area. And I need to show you something because since I live in Dordrecht, we have a chemical plant called Dupont. You can see that there is a little smoke cloud coming from the top. Well, behind there is that particular like industrial area. Luckily, their rules are so strict. There is, it's pretty much impossible for anything to happen. They have specialized fire departments there. I'm not really worried in the last years that I've lived here, but if anything would ever happen there, I would go down. Pretty much, I'm pretty sure half the city would be gone. There would be nothing left and we wouldn't even know it. It's kind of scary if you think about it, but I've lived here forever. There has never been a problem. I feel a lot <laughs> safer than uh, than you, I would otherwise feel. I typed explosion Texas. Look what's happening. Nonetheless, of course, just with every single thing that has happened lately, our thoughts go out to the friends and families who are involved with the accident. What I could find is that there was a chemical fire and someone put on the wrong <laughs> extinguisher. Uh, water or something which gave the reaction of a massive explosion. It's fingers crossed it's clearly an accident and it's kind of scary to think about it that people hope that it is an accident. I don't know if you remember last time but there was no green and that is just like a week ago. So I assume in two weeks when you're is hopefully back everything is green. Okay we're going there. I hope I'm not falling down. I don't want to get dizzy again. Oh, there's less water than last time. There was way more water. Let's stand here. I'm wondering how to get to the other side, but... 
Well, you can go down there. Huh. The guy's are actually in the water now. Okay. Uh-oh, it starts again. Oh god, walk backwards. Ah! <laughs> I think I'm scared of heights too. Not as bad as other people, but I feel slight dizziness. I'm a really bad person. I was waiting for at least one of those two to fall into the water. I had the camera ready. I was basically rolling just in case. I, mean, I know, I'm really bad. Why would I want anyone to fall in there? Seriously. Mother, it's warm. I'm Ah, ow. Ah. And a lot of bugs. I woke up this morning with a massive headache because I slept wrong on my pillow for some reason. <laughs> and when I have that, my neck... Argh, it's the biggest reason because of that. And it sucks! So I went outside, did my grandmother for a bit, let my headache drop a little bit, and hopefully <laughs> I, can, I can start in a, in a like, couple of minutes. Ah, headaches suck, guys. I don't know what to do with them. Last year when Nathan died, I made a video about the five stages of grief. And that does not only apply for situations where someone dies. It also applies for normal situations. And I feel like I'm in a certain type of grief state right now because I have those phases. Most of them are gone already. But there's one phase at the end where you think, yeah, I'm finally good and then it hits you again and you're just like mm. You mentioned it, I shot something the other day and was talking about being real and how we try to keep it light and entertaining although it's our daily life of course but if you want to look back it's nicer I guess to look at the good things because we focus so much on the bad things anyhow and it's not necessarily bad in two weeks it's probably like pfft, poof gone you guys see like 10 minutes of our day and that's it you don't see the whole thing and you don't have to and in the end it doesn't matter and keeping it light and entertaining is probably the best we can do I mean who wants to see me cry all the time <sighs> remember how I didn't like preparing stuff Jesus Christ I really don't Ugh. Uh, screw that shit as you might have guessed, yes, I'm making meatballs. Well, sort of, burger type things. It is tech. It's technically the same thing, <laughs> nonetheless. Ugh. The thing is, it is so cold and disgusting. Ugh. I would say these are some magnificently massive burgers later on. You know what I just realized? You could easily shoot Hunger Games down there. The bit um, where they're on the river. That would be perfect. I wasn't really looking forward to the Hunger Games movie. So when I was watching it, I was like, yes, the book, the book. And you just made it so the teens can watch it. So I was um, disappointed. But I saw actually the preview or sneak peek for Catching Fire. And it looks good. I'm excited for that. Of course, the next step is to actually cook the stuff. Let's see if I'm... No, it's really warm. Ah, <laughs> oh, that looks good. And it smells delicious, so... Uh -huh. Sarah! <laughs> Look what I found! What are you? I've never seen you. Bye camera. Bye. You know what is confusing besides everything in the world and girls in general? Side note. Playing Bioshock? with a PS3 controller acting as a Xbox 360 controller. Why, you may ask? These do not correspond with the Xbox controller. And it's kind of difficult sometimes. I'm not sure, but for some reason it doesn't really register like the joysticks entirely, like the in-between, the 45 degree angles. Doesn't really get that. I don't really care because it is actually kind of easier playing <laughs> than with mouse and keyboard. I know you have more control with the mouse, but I just like playing with my with the controller. I, I'm lazy. Did yeah. I mention we're getting guests? Well, I. So this needs cleaning up. Music. The difference between Mac and PC, though, is that Mac actually like instantly recognizes the PlayStation controller, and you can pretty much use it. Windows, on the other hand, oh my God, it took me like 20 minutes to figure out how to get it running. I got it running though, but. My goodness, it is not easy. And 
and this room is almost done. I just put those over there. They won't stay there. We will have the Nerdish by Nature up there. If you remember, I bought the metal letters. And yeah, those probably go to the bedroom. So that will be kind of a theme thing up there. So now for the next room, which is this chaos. So this is how this room looks right now. The bird is going there. Kitchen still needs cleaning. But that was a pretty productive day. And now I'm bringing the rubbish litter outside. Ooh, yay! <laughs> this is like the perfect temperature right now, even at night. I'm not wearing anything. I'm not sweating. I'm not freezing. It's perfect. It should be like this all year long. That would be awesome. I'm pretty much done for today. I am waiting for Yuri's footage because I'm editing tomorrow. So he has a break because he has been editing for a couple of weeks, I assume. I have been editing too, <laughs> don't get me wrong, I've been doing the gym vlogs and work and blah blah but I think it's good if you have some distance sometimes from the vlogs just to have your own time if you know what I mean. So I'm waiting for the animals to arrive which will probably take another hour because they're packing and everything. <laughs> Anyhow, I love those, I will have a coffee now, I will clean the kitchen and then we talk and we check if your footage is up. And as the doctor would say, allons-y. By the way, I have used my white light bulbs again, including that one. But since I like to have the ambience, I will not put on the main light, of course. And done! Let's see how many steps I got. Yeah, we just passed 10,000. Sarah offered to edit today's vlog, so I have to get busy uploading. It's my upload is just as fast as me flying to the US and actually put my SD card into my iMac on the desk there. Yeah, it's, it is excruciating slow. Look who's back! The fluff buff! And she has gotten so big and fluffy! Oh, and BB. Hi, BB. Mr. BB? Mr. BB? Are you hungry, babe? We need to kick? Are you coming? Yeah? There's a bird. And there's a cat. BB, what's up? Are you tired? Uh oh. Of course, thank you guys for all the comments, tweets, and thingamajiggies that you guys do on a daily basis to help us out with giving us a new perspective on stuff. <laughs> Let's just make it all general. Because the vlogs are our way of documenting our lives and showing what we're doing every day. It is, of course, also very cool to see that the two content vlogging so far has been working out pretty well. I need to do some stuff, BB. You're going to bed now, okay? <laughs> Chai already ran downstairs. Yes! <laughs> Come, let's go to the kitchen. <laughs> and baby is not amused, he's like, what the fuck? Why are you putting me here? Where are you? Do you understand now why I like it? <laughs> it's the perfect size. Here is my little monster. Where did you go? <laughs> I think she's gone. Meow. Earlier she was hiding there and she just poked her head up. And actually her face looks like crumpy cat. <laughs> I Instagrammed it. I had to, sorry. Well, you little monster. Well, I guess it's time for me to say goodbye then without the cat. I hope you had an awesome day. I. There you go. Say goodbye. With that information thrown into your faces, I'm going to end the vlog for today by saying that I will see you guys tomorrow. And of course, have an awesome day. Bye. Bye guys. See you tomorrow. Now you have to press off. Come on, quick. Take it.